It was the first Youngstown City Council meeting tonight for the new Tito Brown administration. One item was extra money for the municipal court project, while earlier in the day the mayor rescinded pay raises to some city lawyers given in the latter days of the McNally administration. Time to govern is new at 10. There were new faces in the power seats at tonight's Youngstown City Council meeting. New law director Jeff Limbian, interim finance director Kyle Myazek, and Mayor Tito Brown. It's a benefit of me being a, a former city council member. Uh, the struggles they had today, I understood. Before the meeting, Mayor Brown rescinded the pay raises of four assistant law directors given last month by former Mayor John McNally. When they first were given, I thought they were uh, unnecessary and it's something that shouldn't have been done at the time. Council also approved spending an additional $300,000 to finish work at the former City Hall Annex, where the Youngstown Municipal Court, Clerk of Courts, and Health Department will move in next month. Right now we have had six change orders by one vendor and another five change orders by uh, our le uh, electricity uh, vendor as a result of unforeseen things within the building. The extra $300,000 brings the total cost to $9.8 million, which is the amount the city had to spend. We're not going to do this again. This is the last one. We've been very responsible from, from in my opinion, um, with what we've done, we've tried to stay made, is within our costs. And Council also approved spending an additional $422,000 on the Wick Avenue project. Deputy Director of Public Works Chuck Sasho told Council, whenever you dig into a downtown street, you never know what you're going to find.